Hello there, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a Game of Thrones. I still have a little bit of a cold, but that can't stop us. We are in all-out war. We have four wars to deal with at the moment. Uh, this one, we are actually helping our ally attack. He's not doing a very good job, even though he has 26,000. Wait, he's defending and he's losing? Ah, but 26,000, 24,000 of those are mine. Right, right. I need to go ahead uh, and help him at some point. Uh, we're also losing this one, but we're the attackers. Uh, we, we'll hold off on that one. We're at war with my son. That should be over quick. And we're also at war with Dawn. They decided to rise up against me uh, in a dissolution war. But before we go ahead with all of those, we need to fix the council. It is a mess. Um, I think a good chancellor is very much needed. Lord John the Just. Now, he is hand of the king. So he's not going to be my chancellor. However, Lord Renifer the Old. Welcome to my council. Hopefully you can do some domestic affairs and make my vassals like me a little bit more. I don't think they're going to though. Uh, I need a very good marshal for the wars to come. What about Lord Byron of the Bywater? Let's go ahead and put him on the council. There we go. He's still improving controls while well in King's Landing. Uh, and then we need an admiral. Let's see. Lord Lucifer of Point Side. Welcome to the council you have become master of ships um yeah we are in a little bit of trouble here right <laughs> where's my army i think we rose them all the way up in the veil didn't we yes and they are currently going to dragonstone right my son is here we're gonna get a disembark penalty but i think we can afford it we have so many more numbers than him and he doesn't even have any men at all, so that's fine i am sitting around a map table of lord harlan and lord giles discussing our strategy for the ongoing war Harlan eagerly points out all of the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to pillage, while Giles nervously mutters about how we should avoid unnecessary engagements and fight a war of attrition. It is my right to decide our ultimate course of action, lads. I know how we can employ both strategies. Do not fear. Yeah, my son is fleeing. This war is going to be over very quick. Why is it not over? We wiped his armies. Why can the enemy get... Minus 200% war bat score from battles, and I can only get plus 50%. I sense a little bit of... Oh, I sense a little bit of unfairness here. My son was murdered in the battle? Oh no, that was the enemy commander. Oh, okay, okay, we're, we're, we're good, we're good. <laughs> My son is too cowardice to even lead his own armies. First, he was tricked into battle against me. Uh, and then he decided to, to not even lead his armies. Right, let's go ahead and get Dawn. They're going to disembark here. And that's going to be bloody beautiful. The Battle of Seawater Pass. We just... Guys. We just won the Dawnish Rebellion. That was quick. Um, how did we do in the battle? 500 losses and we killed their whole 17,000 Dornish warriors. Oh, that's just bloody amazing. We took our son as well. Uh, let's enforce the demands <laughs> to the brash King Malus. Damn your seventh grandfather. I know when I am defeated, it seems I'm left with no choice but to comply with your demands. So be it. Now, do we have a special decision here to deal with prisoners? Well, I've, I've missed. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. So I just think the, the special options have vanished. Right. Uh, Lady Loreza. You did rebel against me. That you did. And so, to pay for your crimes, I will be beheading you. I will not stand for traitors in my realms. Uh, speaking of traitors, it's time to go ahead and deal with my son. Dragonstone has a very high fort level, so it might take a while. At long last, we have achieved victory in the face of those who sought to rebel against me and disrupt my righteous rule. Now that the traitors are within my grasp, the time has come to choose what fate shall before them wait what oh it popped up this time oh so this only pops up if you are the defender weird i thought when i did first look at this one it popped up when i took the iron throne as well but this time it didn't anyway right lord lewis of long grass um i mean we could take titles we could banish him how much gold does he have i mean the lad has 72 gold I think I should send the traitor to the wall. My will will be done. There we go. Uh, what about Lord Doran here? Oh, Lord Doran. The silent son of dawn. I murdered your mother. And now I'm going to send you to the wall. <laughs> oh, what are we doing to the Martels, guys? We're going <laughs> to... 
<laughs> the number of rebellions is going to increase tenfold uh, in our lifetime. Um, okay, Lord Sefton of Rook's Rest. You have 111 gold. I will be taken out. Thank you very much. Uh, can I just send them all to the wall? Uh, we got Lord Malcolm as well. He's got 72 gold. I'll be sending you to the wall. Thank you very much. Lord Wallace, another 100 gold. I think I get it every time, right? Am I not getting the gold here, by the way, guys? Uh, Lord Donnell, he's got 100 gold. I'll be sending you to the wall as well. Do I have to take artifacts? I could take artifacts too. Um, no, no, no. We'll send him to the wall. Yes, let's do that. Maybe the gold will come in after. Uh, Lloyd Qu Lord Coyle here, number 35 gold. Let's send him to the wall. Uh, how many of these guys are going to pop up? Lord Alaric of House Cave. 44 gold will be mine. We're definitely going to be safe uh, from White Walkers at the end of this, aren't we? There we go. Right, that's it. There wasn't too many. Right, did we get any of that gold? No. Okay. Well, that was a very interesting situation. We didn't get any gold from banishing. But if we banished normally, we would have got the gold. Interesting. So who's in charge of Dawn now? Lady Loreza, four-year-old... Uh, Martel. There's only eight Martels left alive. And I think a lot of them have gone to the wall. Uh, only two of them. Okay, okay. Uh, but the, the rest of them are, are children. Oh, there's a Martel on my King's Guard. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got to be careful with that. Right, where's my army? We're going to Dragonstone. I got to go teach my son a lesson. Can I enforce the demands already? No. I could get a white piece, but son... You were stupid enough to fall for the enemy's tricks. And I would teach you the hard way. You must learn your lessons if one day you are to rule these lands. Uh, notable guest has arrived. Has a claim on the county. We don't really care about that. Prisoners can be ransomed. So let's ransom some of these. Uh, let's see. She's a lowborn. But Dawn wants her back. Uh, we'll ransom you as well. And then we'll deal with all the other prisoners. Uh, once all the wars are dealt with. Uh, which could be a while. To the impressive King Malus of the Iron Throne, two years ago you promised to aid me in the Pentos claim on the county of Krapis. But so far you have done nothing to support me in this endeavor. What is the point of our alliance if you never even lift a finger to help me? Okay, my friend. The Lord of Battles. Hmm. I tell you what. Let's see. Uh, this chest of gold should make up for my absence. I will spend a little bit of gold for you. Uh, I've gained a rival in the lowborn as well. Nice. Um, I'll send him a little bit of gold. I'll send my army soon, but I don't know how long that will be. Because it's going to be at least another five months just to siege Dragonstone. Um, but then I will go ahead and help in this Pentos claim. I must help the Nine Penny Kings, my allies. I have very few allies. I would not want to lose them, of course. Um, right, things are going well. We still need to... Right, let's ransom you as well. I still need to assign wardens and whatnot. We'll, we'll deal with all of this when the wars are over. There's too much going on. The peasants are rising as well now. Oh, dear. <laughs> Belson enters a room accompanied by a man foreign to My lord! Basil rasps a proud look on his face. It is my honor to introduce you to Eldred Netley. He is a most horsened man of considerable martial talent and has forsaken marriage and titles in the hope of one day joining your king's guard. Let me take a look at this soldier, eh? Oh, he's an ironborn. I hear they are strong lads, a formidable fighter, 26 prowess. He is brave and humble, a little bit callous, but I think that's what you need. Do you know what? Hmm. Perhaps you would take another position. He will be promised a position when one becomes available. Eldred, what if I make you my... Let's see. Court positions. Um, oh, they've changed. They've changed this layout. Oh, I don't like that it's a drop down now. Uh, special positions is like wardens and stuff, which we will sort out soon. What if I make you my... Is it? It's not royal, is it? No, no, no. Uh, common. Here we go. What if I make you my personal champion? Where is it? Is it royal? It might be under royal. We've got to learn where everything's uh, listed now. It's not under royal. Is it special? Uh, we got wardens, master at arms. I could, okay. I mean, I could make you master at arms. Or I could make you commander of the gold cloaks. Do you know what? I'm going to make you... I can't make you commander of the gold cloaks because you need to hold this. Did they get rid of champions? All positions. 
I think they did. Ah, right. I, I'm going to make you my, my master at arms. How about that? Um, let's see. So let's search for Eldred here. It'll probably be much quicker. Uh, you're going to become my master at arms. There we go. That costs uh, a lot of gold for that position as well. We're not making much gold, are we? Right, let's go back to Dragonstone. The siege is almost done. Another three days and then we're done here. Uh, we still haven't won the war, though. My son and heir, Mena, enters my chamber frowning. Father, my lord, I want to discuss my betrothal, he says arrogantly. <laughs> the lad is currently risen up in war against me and he wants to argue about his betrothal. Do you know what? Mena would make the marriage I arranged. I'm going to teach him a lesson. I will teach him a lesson. Right, let's go ahead and uh, help our allies down here. Yeah, let's do this. Wait, what? I have a new heir? Greetings, father. The dreams of your patrol, your hopes of controlling my life, have only pushed me further away. I cannot imagine continuing to live without a thoughtless bastard like you. Don't worry about disinheriting me. I'll do so myself. He's disinherited himself? He hates me that much? He's gone, no, screw you. Wow. Okay. So who's my heir now? Sila has become heir to the Iron Throne. A bastard. A legitimized bastard. Uh, married to a Greyjoy. We might have to think that. Uh, rethink this as well. Uh, I do. If he's going to be a king one day, I think we need to keep the king's blood pure. Uh, but that's a problem to, to deal with in the future. Uh, right now. Yeah, let's help these guys with the siege. That, that's gone down to two weeks. Uh, my alliance with Lord John has expired. Because we lost the marriage with Mena. So the veil no longer is obedient to us, possibly. Oh, dear. Um, let's enforce the demands. This is a worrying situation we're getting ourselves into. But the story is definitely something. Greetings, father. <laughs> May your shimmers run in your living body. I know when I am defeated. It seems I'm left with no choice but to comply with your demands. So be it. Mena. You have betrayed me, my son. The ultimate betrayal. You rose up against me in war. And then you disinherited yourself. Ah, maybe I should have sacrificed you for the kin's blood before my rebellion began. But my rebellion was successful. So it would have been pointless. I can't even banish him to Essos. Ah, that would have been so fitting, wouldn't it? That would have been so fitting. Uh, is he in my dungeon? He's in house arrest. I, I, I wonder. I could mute him. <laughs> <laughs> if I move him to the dungeon, does it change things at all? No, okay. Mayna. I do worry that you're going to cause tr problems for Sila. So in order to avoid any future betrayals, you will be muted. Sila will lose a little bit of opinion of me, but he will understand when he comes of age. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Um, at long last, we have achieved victory in the face of those who sought to rebel against me. Bring them before me. <laughs> uh, the jailer drags a panicked Prince Maynard into the room. Please, I'll tell you anything. Anything you want, father. His protests are cut short as the jailer gags him and ties him down on the table. Oh, Maynard. You see, that's the problem. I don't want you to tell anyone ever a single thing again. <laughs> Maynard has become mute. <laughs> Mayno is unable to speak his mind at all. We have cut out his tongue. His intrigue has increased. Uh, so we actually now get to decide what to do with Mayna. I'm going to send him to Essos. We sailed from Essos to take the Iron Throne. I was successful as the leader of the Fifth Rebellion. And now I will send my firstborn son back to Essos. He decided to betray me. To rise up against me like a fool. And so he will be sent back like one. Goodbye, my son. My will will be done. I am the new cultural head. What is this story? This is amazing. My alliance with Maynard has expired. Uh, does that mean I have Dragonstone again now? Oh, Sila inherited Dragonstone. Interesting. Oh, bloody hell, Sila. Um, oh, that's, uh, you, that sucks to be ruling so young. Uh, we're being raided by Lord Balon. Okay. That sucks. I uh, can't really do anything about that right now. We got Dangerous Factions, uh, a Liberty Faction. Right, that's unfortunate. I, uh, 
I don't want to be fighting Dav right now. Yeah, we're being raided. I can isolate capital. Do we actually have a plague around here? Um, the FPS is a bit choppy, isn't it? Um, we don't. Okay, I can negotiate an alliance with Sila. He won't accept for now. That's fine. He will one day. Uh, I can change his contract. Wait, 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 wait. Can I use a hook? Yeah. Instead of doing that, let's get the hook and get the alliance. I will protect you, my son. Do not worry. Um, I can declare war on a pirate lord. Let's not do that yet. What I need to do now is take my army, wherever they may be, Dragonstone. Let's embark. And we're going to go and help with the, the Pentos invasion. Uh, we have lost this war. Okay, I don't think we lose anything, though. Um, that's unfortunate. Faction created against me. Independence faction. Oh, bloody hell. Um, oh, Silver Tongue has died. The Nine Penny Kings are dropping like flies. More and more. Um, let's see. So that was you. You did leave a daughter who has inherited lands. Um, so let's pin her. Maybe one day we can help her. Although I feel like the time of the Nine Penny Kings might be coming to an end. And we might need to focus on Westeros. So this war here. I guess we just siege Pentos. I mean, why not, right? Uh, we'll get a lot of gold here as well. Yeah, 142 gold for sieging this. So, so let's go ahead and earn ourselves some gold from sieging. We'll help our allies, as once promised. <laughs> oh, and we just caught their army as well um, as we were disembarking. That's bloody brilliant, isn't it? Uh, how do we do? We lost 57, but we killed 1,000. Not bad, considering we just disembarked, eh? Ooh, we took a banner as well. Okay, uh, royal court... Let's destroy this one. Get some more gold. Very nice. I don't need anyone else's banners. And we did take a prisoner. 50 gold. I need to look at the prisoners. That I do. Right, where should we siege next? Let's siege this place. Um, We can't siege this one. What about this one? I'm just going to walk around until I can find somewhere that's siegeable. This is urban as well. Can I siege this? Nope. Okay, can I siege this? <laughs> There we go. This one's siegeable, lads. <laughs> Don't mind me just uh, walking through Pentos with 24,000 men looking for loot. There we go. We found all the loot now. Uh, this is wonderful, wonderful stuff. God, this story has got to be one of my favorites so far. Who would have fought the Ark with Maynar? It's been bloody brilliant. Seven months to siege this part. Okay, my acquaintance Joffrey has died. At famine fever has spreaded. Right. Uh, we do have the iron from pox, and it is a major, it is a major disease. Right. Let's isolate the capital. We need to keep King's Landing safe. Um, I will isolate that. Prisoners can be ransomed. Oh, we got a lot of good prisoners here, haven't we? We might have to do a, a mass banishment as well to generate a lot of gold from all the others. There we go, another 10 gold here. Wonderful stuff. How long to siege this? Six months. Okay, that's quite a little bit, isn't it? Um, let's see. More prisons. Another 50 gold. Another 20 gold. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Hopefully, Sila. Sila, how's your education coming along? Um, you don't have a guardian. What are you focused on? Stewardship and learning. I mean, I guess we could make you... Oh, you can... yeah, you are focused on steward. Right. Well, let me find you a guardian then, lad. Do we have any good stewards? Rylora, Rylora. There we go. She can educate you. Let's go ahead and offer you guardianship. My lord, I was able to fetch a secret Nassario tries to protect the King Malus's court. I will hand you the evidence I found, but only if my service is rewarded fairly. I am not interested. I am not interested. You should serve me loyally. You shouldn't have to blackmail for me for gold. Guardian sets out. Oh, she's departing for Dragonstone. Ah, she was my courtier. Okay, okay. Uh, excellent news. Sila, pay attention and learn much. Famine uh, fever has spread even more. Uh, I do worry that it's going to reach King's Landing. Hopefully, our population doesn't get infected. It's spreading quite quickly as well. Um, it's spreading very quickly. Holy crap. Wait, if I go over here. Yeah, the Iron from Pox has already killed nine people. That's not good. Wow. Okay, we'll, we'll look at that. Oh, we got a river here as well, straight to King's Landing. Oh, and now the Liberty Demand. The Starks again. Oh, dear. 
to my leech. <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> We're turning into orcs now. I've been playing Warhammer 3. Uh, it's time for you to recognize the ancient and inalienable rights of your vassals. Accept the demands of the Liberty Faction or face our swords on the battlefield. Uh, we are on High Crown Authority. Do you know what? I would not mind dropping it just this once. I mean, uh, we have zero legitimacy anyway. Does it matter if we lose 50 more? Probably not. Uh, I guess I have no choice. I will drop it, uh, but in a kind of... Oh, I can't change it until 296. Ah, okay. I've H I think the base game has patched it, so if you lower it, you can't instantly raise it anymore. Interesting. Um, it's probably how it should be. Let's go ahead and designate someone here. Everyone is self-interested. Ooh. Oh, dear. Do I have no one to guide my... To guide my son? <laughs> no. Um, oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. And I don't have a wife either. She's so young. Right. Uh, let's just go back over to this army. At least we avoided... Are we even sieging anymore? Oh, we are. Okay, I was in the wrong map. There we go. Uh, faction created against me already. A slave revolt. What's that? No idea, but it's disbanded. Okay. Uh, that must be an Essos thing? We must still have land in Essos, which is why that's triggered or something. Uh, I've never seen that one happen before. Uh, we just got 200 gold. Ooh. We're spoiling ourselves today. Right, 50 gold there. Thank you very much. 70 in total. Uh, how are we not winning this? What the hell? Right, what are we actually trying to capture? The county of Quapis. Where is this? It's all the way up here. Are we defending? Oh, we're defenders. Right, 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 right. Um, In that case, let us set sail. Oh, there's a plague here. Uh, but we're going to disembark up here and take back off places. Uh, our castles, our domains, whatever. I can't English. To my liege, I discovered that Lord Merrick's inherited contract obliges him to more than you've collected. Well, let us right this wrong. Tell the lad he is to pay me more taxes. No one gets away with paying their taxes. The Iron Throne must have their gold. Um, it funds the army. It funds the protection protection of the Seven Realms. Um, oh, bloody hell. What's all this? I've gained 200 legitimacy. Okay. And I've gained some fangs. We've gained the Stepstones as well. I think that's that. Uh, okay. Um, hyena fangs. What's this? Prestige, stress gain. Right, let's equip those. So I can now nominate a successor. Uh, let's nominate my son, of course, Sila. Let's do that. Uh, and I now have the Stepstones. They are now part of the Iron Throne. Beautiful news. Wonderful news. Things are... There's a little bit of civil war in Dawn. Uh, but other than that... <laughs> things, are, things are looking pretty good under my rule, I would say. How was the council doing? My chancellor died. Okay. Uh, Lord John. You are Hand of the King. Um, so let's see. Lord Hoster Tully. I will make you my master of laws. Bloody, they all hate me. Um, this is trait stuff. Court grandeur, short reign, offensive war is still there. Below, legitimacy expectations, cultural acceptance. Uh, more traits. I'm just not a very, very likable man. Uh, it seems right. What are we doing here? Dread gain, siege progress against revolts, faction military power threshold for vassals plus 20. That sounds like it's going to be useful. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Active elections. So we have the the election for the stepstones and the election for the stepstones. Right, right, right. Let's put my son for both of those. Good news is we have 1500 gold. What What's this army? What's in this army? It's actually got some stuff in here. Uh, I'm going to disband them. Oh, I must have inherited some men at arms. Right. Well, I'm just going to disband them for now. Uh, we have an army of 24,000. Uh, we don't need much more for that. Let's go ahead and sail our, sail our, ourselves up the Sea of Mirth. Uh, and then we're going to take back all of these castles. And hopefully win this war for my ally. Uh, just so we can say we're not in any more wars. Whilst that's doing that, why don't we look at the plague? It's almost at King's Landing. That's scary. Hopefully it stops. It's killed 150 people and it's still going up. Wow, plagues are scary. Um, luckily we've won that siege. Okay. 
Oh, there's so much going on. I love it, though. The chaos. The chaos. Um, right, there is a Pentos army up here. Let's go ahead and fight them. That would probably help a bit with the war score. We'll take back all of this land. Take back the war object. Oh, they're already sieging it back. Okay, wonderful news. Now, this is what I like to call a pincer maneuver. Uh, we're going to capture their army. My lord, I was able to fetch a secret Lysandra. Tries to protect the Prince Silas court. <gasps> Secrets of my son's court? Okay, I do need to know this. Are the seven who are one? Zabella is my daughter. I always had my suspicions, but now the truth is certain. I am lost for words. My soulmate lied about my child? She told me it was someone else's. Uh, come. She's a giant and she's robust. Of course she's my daughter. Of course she is. <laughs> Zabella, all this time. I didn't know it. We need to name her. Right, Zabella. Now that I know you are the king's daughter, I shall give you a new name. I just realized we don't actually have any, an option to rename her. Is it because she's not at my, my court? Possibly. It doesn't say, say she's my daughter even. Wait, is this a secret that I know? Oh, wait, it might be a secret. My secret, Lysandra's daughter, Isabella, is your illegitimate child. How do I expose this? I want to expose it. Um, it's right here. Right, let's expose this. Child's heritage. Yes, yes, yes. Um, okay, I want everyone to know that she is my daughter. She is the king's daughter and she will be protected. And now we can rename her. Okay, okay. <laughs> and you guys have decided on the name, Morella. Thank you, Kim, for the name suggestion. A much better name there. Uh, you didn't give me an education focus, so I guess we'll we'll pick one when she turns six years of age uh, and see what she's naturally into. Lost a level of devotion. I am now a sitter. Uh, who would have guessed, eh? <laughs> I've already been excommunicated. Well, so where's the harm? Um, famine. Oh, my God. The plague is spreading even more. Uh, gained a level of devotion, though. I am now dutiful. It seems our, our faith is in the balance. Uh, Sebastian Rushmore slew Magister. Oh, the Kingsguard fight with us, don't they? Of course. Uh, we lost 200, but we killed 7,000. So I'd say those odds were, were pretty good. Right. Let's try and take back some of this land and hopefully we can end this war soon. Um, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Let's go ahead and ransom some of you. This has just been... This series so far has been so fun. Um, but it's been very chaotic. There's basically been no time where we're not at war. Uh, I'll be glad when this is war is over because we could do a few maintenance uh, and uh, HR stuff. What's it called? I, I, I forgot the name. I forgot the name. We'll, we'll get stuff organized. Um, Lysandra. Another secret from Lysandra. She has a lover. <gasps> what? Wait, but aren't I her lover? My soulmate. How could you do this? I thought we were in love. Nessario. My acclaimed knight even. Oh. This is terrible news. Terrible news. I don't know what to do with this. I would do some sieging and then I would decide what to do with this. I don't want to cause chaos for my children, even though I cut the tongue out of one. <laughs> right, the war's over. Let's disband the men. They can end this. Uh, they can end this army now. Uh, end this war. It's done with. End it. There we go. We won the law war led by Elliot Lyman, Lord of Battles of Mir, against Prince Navario of Pentos. Finally, uh, did we gain legitimacy? No, I think he did. Right, right, right. Okay, right. For the first time in a while, we are not at war. Uh, but we are at war with some plague. We we have the Iron Throne Pox here, which has now killed 230 people. Jeez. Um, I said I was going to do some... Um, it's, it's this. I've completely forgotten the word for it. Ah, English is not my first language, I promise. Um, not stewardship. What's it? Uh, it begins with an A and I've completely forgotten it. We're, we're going to do some organization. First things first. I need to make wardens so we need a warden of the north ah this costs a lot of gold though warden of the north eldritch pike of house netley you will become warden of the north hopefully you can control things keep things under control yeah control growth does grow up okay okay we need a warden of the east eldritch pike netley <laughs> wait what 
Oh, I'm sorted by the name Eldred. Oh, I'm so stupid. Um, right, Eldred. Uh, I don't think I wanted you here. I will make the Starks Warden of the North. Even though they are betraying me, hopefully this will convince them to stop. Uh, as for Warden, let's see, Warden of the West will be the Lannisters. They have been following me loyally. Uh, let's see, can we can we not see a Lannister in here? Here we go, Lord Tywin. You will become Warden of the West. You did join the wars with me. I'm very grateful for that. As for Warden of the East, I'm going to go with Lord John. Lord John, the Just of the Vale. Whether he's truly in the East, I, I will not know. Uh, and then we need a Lord Warden of the South. Who do we make Warden of the South? Oh, maybe the Tyrells? Because I don't trust Dawn. The Tyrells never went against me. Um, he's in. Uh, he's a bit dull. But he did accept an alliance, the Tyrells. So do you know what? Um, oh, we need this tap, don't we? I think Warden of the South will be the Tyrells. So let's go ahead. It's much quicker if we just do this, isn't it? There we go, Tyrells. Lord Paramount Luther the Holy. You will become Warden of the South. Protect the South. And help increase the control levels. Okay, Court Grand Jewel is not looking good, but I do not have gold to raise this. Ah, we're in a very tricky situation. Okay, so Maynard, I sent him to Essos, but he's gone north of the wall. Interesting. Uh, not sure what he's doing there. Silo is currently seven years of age. Um, Erila is currently six. Right, what does she want to be good at? Martial or stewardship? Right. I'll tell you what. I will educate you myself. Uh, let's see, offer guardianship. Uh, yes, I will educate you. Oh, I'm going to convert your culture and faith as well. I must guide you back to the light. Wait, Sila, what's your... Oh, no. Oh. Okay, okay, right. I need to fix this. Uh, let's remove Guardian. How how does one do this? Uh, I might have to... It hasn't decreased opinion, so that's fine. Um, uh, and then... Can I not... Do I have to unpause? And now can I offer you a guardian? He's already considering a proposal. Ah, okay, okay. Educate your sister. Right, right, right. He was in charge of that. Right, you're a steward. So let's do this. Um, Westerosi Valerian. You're not going to be a very good... I mean, you have 14 learning. Yeah, let's do this. Convert your culture. Convert the faith. There we go. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I am High Valyrian, but he's going to be Westerosi Valyrian. I mean, that's what King's Landing is anyway, so maybe it's actually better um, in the long term for the lad. We'll see. Greetings, my perceptive leech. I will be happy for Daron to educate my kingsman, Prince Sila. You're speaking about yourself, son. <laughs> oh, the plague spread again. Okay, it's going this way. How many is it killed out? 237. Oh, but unfortunately, guys, we're going to end things there for today. My daughter has arrived as well. We're going to educate her. Let's pause things there. We'll end things there for today. I'm going to record another video straight after this one. There is finally peace in the Seven Kingdoms. I think my plans next are to incorporate Essos into the Iron Throne. We also need to get some more gold. So probably build up King's Landing a little bit as well. Uh, we're already building windmills there. That's going to be a nice attraction. Um, but yes, we have achieved peace by some miracle. But thank you for watching as always. I will see you next time.